In this part, we'll talk about certain important terms which are related with classification. And these terms are, one is taxonomy, then we will also talk about systematics and we will also take up various taxonomic categories and we will try to arrange them in an hierarchy that means in an orderly manner. So let us first understand the meaning of these terms and then we will come to that hierarchy or arrangement of those categories. Taxonomic term, taxonomic term was given by Kendall and basically taxonomy is defined as it is a branch of science which deals with identification, nomenclature, and classification of organisms. This is what we mean when we use the word taxonomy. Now let us come to the other word that is systematics. This word was first used by Linnaeus in his book. In his book. And this book was titled Systema Naturae. And in this book, he used the word systematics for the first time. Now, what exactly systematics, uh, that word means? It means taxonomy and the relationship of all the organisms which are in this category. So, we have just now defined this taxonomy. Here, we are going to identify the organisms, name them and classify them. So what exactly is systematics? We have identified them, we have named them, we have classified them. And we also study the evolutionary relationship. So it is taxonomy and evolutionary relationship between the organisms which are in these various categories. So this is what is systematics and it was used by Linnaeus. Now coming to the categories. What exactly is a category? A category is a term given to a level. Level means organism in a particular level would be considered as in that category. So category basically means a level and technically it is known as taxon. For example, Phylum is a category or taxon. Species is a category or taxon. So when we use the word species or that particular species, all organisms of that particular species in that level make one category or one taxon. So now we have understood what is taxonomy and what, are, what is meant by systematics. Now let us talk about uh, what terms or what more things were given by Linnaeus. Linnaeus gave certain categories and the categories given by Linnaeus were genus, species, class, order and variety. These were five different categories which were given by Linnaeus. Later on these categories were changed and now we have few more categories which are added. So the newly added, newly added were kingdom, kingdom, phylum and family. So now when we arrange all these categories in a proper systematic manner, then we say that we have arranged them in an hierarchy. So what exactly is taxonomic hierarchy? It means 
a systematic or an orderly arrangement. Normally, we arrange it from the biggest group to the smallest or we can say from the smallest to the biggest. But we have to mention whether we are talking in ascending order or descending order. So, there were few categories which were given by Linnaeus earlier. There were few newly added categories. And after combining them in the systematic hierarchy or in this orderly manner, variety was dropped. It was not included. So, when we arrange them, the topmost or the biggest group is written as the kingdom. So, if we talk about kingdom, say animal kingdom, all animals, whichever group category they are, they are all are going to be in this uh, big category, that is the kingdom. Then, in the kingdom, we would have phylums. In case of animals, we use the term phylum for the category. Whereas in case of plants, we use the term division. Now, in the phylums would be placed class. In the class would be orders. In the orders would be families. In the family would be the genus. And in the genus would be the species. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. These are the seven categories. Now, if we say that we are arranging all these categories in a hierarchy, then we have to mention, are we arranging it in an ascending order or descending order? For that, we need to know which group is what type. Species is the smallest group. Smallest group or we can say it is a group of the most closely related organisms. So, that is the smallest group. So, many species, uh, species, similar species would be placed in one genus. Many similar genus would be placed in one family. Many similar families would go into the order. Many orders would go into class. Many classes into a phylum and all the phylums would come into the, in the kingdom. So, kingdom is the largest and the most diverse group. Most diverse group. Whereas species is the smallest and most closely related organism group. So this is how we arrange all the categories in a hierarchy. So uh, taxonomy is a branch which is going to help us in identification, name and classify these organisms. And how are we going to classify these organisms? We classify them into these seven categories. And the technical term for the category is taxon. So taxon term is given for the category. Systematics, it is nothing but taxonomy plus the relationship amongst the organisms of a particular category or taxon. We will add one more thing about Linnaeus here. He is also known as father of taxonomy. These terms are very very important whenever we are talking about the system of classification or whenever we study diversity in living organisms. So, these are three important things which we have to understand and the most important thing is the arrangement of these taxon in an ascending or descending. If we are going from species up, we are going in an ascending manner. So, we are going from the smallest to the largest and if we are going in a descending manner, we are going from the largest to the smallest. So, these are the seven taxons or categories in which we are going to classify all the organisms.